Navy became interested in marine mammals after World War II because of the desire to improve the performance of torpedoes. Welcome to San Diego, California, home and training grounds for some of the most unique members of America's all-volunteer force. Good boy. The thing that's really cool about marine mammals is that what they do really, really well is look for stuff. So today, the Navy focuses on dolphins and sea lions. From its start after World War II up through the end of the Cold War years, this program was classified. Still, some word of the Navy's use of marine mammals did get out, soon followed by misconceptions about what they were being trained to do. One of the most important lessons every dolphin learns is this beaching activity. Oh. So we're constantly on the vigilance of making sure that these animals are in the best of health that they can possibly be. Because if they're not healthy, they're not going to work very well. Or they're not going to work at all. And we don't want to put them under those kind of stressors. Among the program's medical staff is a team of veterinarians from the Army, which takes the lead in animal care for all the military services. And when any of the Navy's marine mammals are deployed, all the special care taken here goes on the road with them as a mobile unit including some of the Army veterinary staff. and no tones and if he hears the tones he'll whistle if he doesn't hear anything he'll stay quiet and that's how they do his hearing test okay here we go there's the light in fact this program has contributed more to the body of science on marine mammals than any other single organization and each new bit of information is used to enhance the health and welfare of marine mammals and further define what they can and can't do in support of Navy operations around the world. This is where the work of keeping up the skills of the mine hunting dolphins takes place. What we do here on a daily basis is what we would do if we were called upon to, to find mines in a, in a real life situation. For this mission, each dolphin's handler is actually an explosive ordnance disposal specialist. Taught what they need to know to work with the dolphins through five weeks of classroom work, followed by extensive on-the-job training. And so it's important to establish a relationship with them to get them to do what we want them to do and then reinforce it by the feeding and the, the intimate relationship between the handler and the dolphin. This morning, we're going on a mission with a veteran mine hunter by the name of Ten. Ten is approximately 30. Wow. She's been with the program for probably 20 years now. So right now, we'll go to our rendezvous point, which for training purposes is generally about 500 yards from our target. John Bridger is one of the Navy Marine Mammal Program's technical representatives. They're the ones who provide the on-the-job training for the handlers. Right. These are our training fields, and we run our training sessions. We try and run it as closely to the way we would be doing in real time. Now that we're in place, Ken's handler gives her the go. She's trained to use the two paddles on the side of her control boat to indicate a find. By touching the rear paddle, she indicates she hasn't found anything. When she does find something, she uses the front paddle. Next, Ten is given a marker, which she takes down and places near her find. We weren't able to follow along for this part of our mission, so the Navy provided us with this video to show what goes on. As for the risks, mines are designed to go off when hit by a ship, not when bumped by a three to four hundred pound dolphin.
The next step is checking on Tent's find. So now that has a line going down to our marker on the bottom, and our dive team will check it. Although no wild dolphins have been caught by the Navy for two decades, Tan is one of the old timers. What keeps her from just swimming away? It's a sure meal. And a, it's you know, a sure like, meal, exactly. They get all the love they need, all the attention. Even when visibility is at its worst. One of the fleet support missions Navy Sea Lions are involved in is the recovery of training mines when the Navy and Air Force hold mine laying exercises. The sea lions are what makes scoring accuracy in those exercises possible. It's called the Mark V Object Recovery Program. What the animals do is they grab onto this bite plate, they swim down to the depth, and they hook onto the target. And what they'll do is they'll swim down, clip onto this. Shoot. At 27, Strover is a veteran at recovering objects for the Navy. Strover's our guy that will just go out and work for the longest period of time. And watching him at work, seeing how fast he takes care of business is impressive. It's very tasking for human divers to go anywhere past two, three hundred feet. But the sea lions can go down and in two and a half, three minutes, they can complete a whole dive, hook up to a target, and we can recover it. So it's a very, very, very quick process. As with the Navy's dolphins, it takes years to fully train a sea lion. They start out doing this at very shallow depths. So we start out, you know, at five, ten feet, teaching them just the concept of swimming down and hooking onto a target. They also check their work when they're down there, so they pull back just to make sure they've hooked onto something. Once they uh, learn that particular task, then we just start adding depth and we start going deeper and deeper. Even when they graduate to full-fledged members of the object recovery team, the sea lion skills are put to the test with constant practice. For these missions, each sea lion wears a tracking device, but there are no tethers. Drew Ann outlined some of the reasons the sea lions what? choose not to just swim away. Sea lions are pretty low energy, and we're providing them with a place to sleep that's safe, you know, they don't have any predators that they have to worry about, um, a free meal. So because of that, coming home is a good thing. Oh! It's an incredible job. I get to come to work, work out here on the ocean with sea lions, open up every day. It's absolutely amazing. Nowhere in the world do they do things like they do here at the Marine Animal Program, so it's really incredible. And the Navy Marine Mammal Program is doing some testing to see if they can make that happen. Training the sea lions to spot limpet mines is the easy part. The sea lion is very quick and agile, nimble underwater, so we need a tracking system that is, has a high enough update rate to be able to keep up with them. The underwater camera attached to the test tracking device shows Norton indicating he's found the dummy mine placed for this exercise. This development work also involves a lot of forward thinking about how it could support Navy dive teams and underwater unmanned vehicles. The Navy's marine mammals are tried and true additions to the Navy team, and they'll be a part of that team until the day comes when technology can replicate their amazing abilities. And when they get close enough and they're able to move that sonar around, move those sensors around in a way that the animals can move around, then we'll be planning for the transition of the program from the, the Navy's remount program to something else.